Hi, welcome to Homemade Italian Cooking. I'm Cara, and with me I have my very beautiful and talented niece, Alex. Alex loves gelato as much as I do, and so she's agreed to come over and help me make a couple batches of gelato. What is your favorite gelato? I love chocolate a lot, but I think there's also something to be said for just plain vanilla. You can really taste the flavor. Oh, that's good, because we are going to be <laughs> making vanilla bean uh, gelato today and blueberry gelato. Yes. We're going to teach a couple different techniques to make sure that you know how to make a basic uh, base, custard base for gelato. And we'll show you how to add flavors to it, and that'll be the next batch. We'll do a very deep purple blueberry gelato. Blueberries are in season. Okay. <laughs> One of the most important things uh, that you should have to make gelato, it makes it so much easier, is to have an electric um, churning and freezing uh, ice cream or gelato machine. I've had this one. This is a DeLonghi. I also like the Cuisinart that they have. Um, you can look on the website and get you know ideas for different machines. But the basic concept is that it does the churning for you. This is a one quart uh, machine. You can get them where the bowl is two quarts, but I like doing smaller batches. can do one quart at a time. And it does a slow churn and it also uh, freezes the, the ice cream as it goes through, or the gelato. And it takes about 20-30 minutes and then you'll have a batch of ice cream. So, you know, if you have a machine, this is a great recipe to do. If you don't have a machine, get one for Christmas. Okay? That's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex has her own gelato machine and uh, so I know she's really good at making it. Um, the first step that we're going to do is put two cups of whole milk, and I'll let you be doing this Alex, of whole milk into an enamel saucepan. And then we're going to add uh, a teaspoon of, or uh, actually a tablespoon for the vanilla bean ice cream, tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to prepare our vanilla bean. And while Alex is doing that, let me tell you about the vanilla bean. You usually can get them in the grocery store. They'll come in a jar. And this is a, a full vanilla bean pod. Oh, it smells fantastic. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to split it all the way down and scrape out the seeds. And you're going to take the, the sharp knife and just go right down exactly through the center of it. Yep. Very good. And then you sort of split it open and we're going to use the knife to scrape out the seeds. Yeah. So you've got some, some beans there. Perfect, that's what they look like. It looks more like a paste than actually seeds. And you could take your knife sideways to scrape it. Yeah, on the, I put it on the board. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. You have learned, <laughs> mastered the technique of seeding a vanilla pod. How about that? Yeah, the vanilla pot itself, we're going to also use, we're gonna throw, now that we've taken all the seeds out, and that's a beautiful job, you've scraped it just right. Um, we're gonna put the seeds and the pod into the milk and let that steep while we're making the rest of the base. And that vanilla bean pod will really give it a, the incredible flavor of vanilla bean that we crave in our gelato. Good job. Okay, so as you're scraping all the vanilla beans into the milk, um, they'll break up, those little clumps will break up and you'll get nice little vanilla flecks, those little black flecks that you see in the ice cream. And the whole pot can just go in there, yeah. And that will steep, and when that, uh, we'll keep watching that, make sure that it doesn't come to a boil so that it's ready when we're, we can get to the next step. Okay, next step, um, I'm gonna put egg yolks in one egg with the whites. And this is the fat content besides the cream. So go ahead and, and you can show your technique for breaking eggs, the yolks and the eggs. Everybody has a different way of doing it. Perfect. However you want to do it. You got a double. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> I think this is going to be a good batch. You can put it yep, right in there. <laughs> it's okay. Look, what a nice save. See, this is good to learn in the kitchen. 
All right, excellent save. She saved that whole <laughs> egg yolk without breaking it, so I'm very impressed. Oh. And now the whole oh egg, the whole egg, so that you're I okay. Do. That you're can. All right, so we've got four and a half eggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we need a cup of, or three quarters of a cup of sugar. You beat this um, until the eggs become, like they, they say creamy and pale yellow, and you'll see, you'll get a nice texture. You just go ahead, and it's starting to get there. It looks good now. All right, I think we're there. All right, so perfect. Right. So now comes the tricky part, which is tempering the eggs. This is a technique you'll use for custards and other dishes. So I'm going to ladle out um, a little bit of this hot vanilla milk into the eggs while Alex is beating it. So go ahead and start that. Very slowly. So what that is doing is bringing the eggs up to temperature a little bit because you don't want to just put the hot milk in the eggs because you'll end up with scrambled eggs, right? You're just going to cook them and that is not the point. You want it as smooth and silky as possible. So we're going to remove the uh, van vanilla pod that we had and what we're going to do next is pour the batter into the hot milk and be beating it at the same time. Okay. So. Um, I'll pour, actually, and you can beat. We'll do it this way. All right. So now we're going to do the rest. All right. Now we're going to move this back to the stove and cook this for a couple of minutes, stirring constantly uh, until it thickens. Okay. You can see this is thickening up for sure, looking lovely. I love the color of this vanilla custard. Oh. I think this is done. We'll get and it. now uh, you can add the one cup of uh, cold, heavy cream. And this is going to add some additional creaminess and fat to it. And then whisk that in. Yeah. So this is our basic gelato base. Um, it's different from ice cream because gelato uh, has less fat than ice cream does. And it also is more dense uh, and has more intense flavor than ice cream. That's sort of the difference between the two. So normally with ice cream, you would have used more egg yolks. You would have used more cream, less milk. Uh, in this recipe, we uh, cut back on the fat. It has a lot of fat in it, no matter what. You can kid yourself all you want. It still, <laughs> it still has a lot of fat in it. That's why but, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, but it, gelato does have a more intense flavor. And one of the secrets to that is when we go and put it in here, it's going to slow churn, which means it's not going to add as much air into it, so it gets more dense. And then you can get the more intense flavors, too. So. Um, all right, so this is uh, done. The next step that we would do is put some saran wrap over it and stick it in the fridge overnight to chill, and then it'll be ready. That's best. You can let it chill for at least four to six hours. You need a nice cold base before you put it in the ice cream maker. Uh, but uh, in this case, and I like to do it overnight if at all possible, okay? But we made some yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to, and this is, the chilled version of the base. And so we're going to show you next how to put it into the, uh, the machine. There is one trick that I do want to show you that I learned the hard way. Um, so the bottom of a lot of machines, you can actually freeze because it gets so cold. Mm -hmm. It freezes to the bottom and gets stuck. So um, with my bottle of scotch, <laughs> which is my airplane size <laughs> bottle of scotch, and I use this just for this purpose. I put a little alcohol oops, on the, uh, the bottom. And the alcohol doesn't freeze, right? So this helps to prevent the freezing, and the bowl will lift out real easy. So, so smart. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, and so save your little bottles of airline liquor. OK. Hmm. All right, so now you can pour about, um, you only want to go 3 quarters of the way up. So I'd say, you know, maybe half of that and that gets poured in. Oh, I go with the whole thing. Yep. Terrific. I'm going to lock, lock and load here. And we're going to churn like this for 20, 30 minutes. And um, 
Have faith, it will turn into gelato at the end. Okay, all right, we have got gelato. And as you can see, this is wonderfully thick and it, we've tasted it, it tastes fantastic. Uh, and we're ready to turn it off and we're going to scoop it into the uh, ice cream container and we're gonna let it freeze. All right, we are down to uh, the last step for the second batch. And we've got our uh, base made here. This is a vanilla base. We've added the cream. It's been chilled a little bit, nice and cool. And now we're gonna make our flavoring. And since blueberries are in season, we've got this big, beautiful bowl. This is three cups of blueberries. So we're gonna uh, make a puree in the food processor. Throw those in uh, with a half a cup of sugar and about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I like the zip of lemon juice so that, you know, helps. And now we're going to do it on the food processor. And you'll see how fast and easy this is. I love that color. That's good. All right. And now we're going to take this absolutely stunning purple color and we're going to mix it in with the base. So, like we did before, we're going to put saran wrap on it, chill it overnight, and like we did before, we've got one ready to go. And this is been chilled overnight. Give it a good mix. And we're ready to put it in the machine. So we'll do that. We also put the alcohol on the bottom so it wouldn't freeze. Did that again. Perfect. Get the uh, this on and <laughs> we, <laughs> Oops, we gotta plug it, it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we've got it plugged in now and we're gonna turn it on. Voila. Um, we made a lot of gelato. There's a lot to eat. So this will probably uh, churn for about 30 minutes. And uh, we'll come back at the end and we'll show you the final product. I've been slaving away in the kitchen <laughs> making all this gelato. And we're finally get to sit down and relax and try it. This is uh, blueberry, fresh blueberries with a little lemon. And Alex has got the vanilla bean. It's got all the flecks of vanilla bean that seeds that mm -hmm. she seeded herself. And uh, so should we finally try it? Yes, please. <laughs> I know, it seems like a while. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> that is, wow. It's, There's that, one thing we're good at. It is gelato. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Alex, so much for joining me today. She's been a big help. And congratulations on your EMT, Emergency oh, Medical you. Technician license that she just got. So um, this way, if I have a coronary from all the, <laughs> from all the fat in the, in the low fat gelato, you can, you can run to my rescue. I gotcha. <laughs> so I'll get the recipes uh, on the website. You can follow the link below. Uh, and we really hope that you try and make gelato for your family. And we're just gonna sit out and enjoy it on this beautiful uh -huh. summer day. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.